what up disciples Zane here and welcome back to my channel I apologize for the absence but I've been going through a couple of things this past two weeks so I am back and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to level your leather worker from 60 to 70 now this video is going to be slightly different because leather worker is a pain in the ass to level as much as I enjoy it, it was still a pain in the ass. So in this video, at the end, I'm gonna show you guys a easier way to level this up if you value time over hard work. So, as per usual, before you do any crafting, you wanna go to your guild master in Gridania and do the level 60 job quest for Stormblood. It'll give you some Chrono Crystals and some crafting manuals to get you started. Once that is all said and done, you wanna to go to your grand company to see what is needed for leather worker. Passing in high quality, you'll get double the points. If it's starred, you'll get triple the points. So always make sure that they are high quality. Once that is done, you want to go into your challenge log. If you do not have this done, you're lucky. If you do, then you're going to skip this part. But as always, for love quests, make sure you knock off two non-crafting love quests. So when you do complete it with your crafter, you'll be able to get complete five love quests with different love plates on it. If you don't, then you're going to miss out on a lot of experience, and that's not good. Then make sure you do that first. After all that is said and done, you want to start making everything in your crafting list at your level. And as you level up, you do the same thing the next recipes that you get for leveling up. Because making everything once gives you an extra bonus in experience. It's always important to make sure that you do everything on your list. So now after all that is done, or if you can't do more crafts because you're already too low of a level, you can go to your left quests and start doing, uh, doing these. So, as always, the uh, repeatable ones at level 60 are going to be fitting in. But you're you going to be making a Gargana skin belt of striking. Now, the belt is not really too hard. All you need is a titanium nugget from Heaven's Ward and two Kagane leathers. Pretty easy to get, not too hard, very simple. So. At level 62, we are looking for glove. For these, you're gonna make a pair of Gayuki leather half gloves of scouting. Which is right here. Uh, for these, as you can see, they're a little bit um, more complex. But, uh, one I would prefer would be the Gayuki Leather Wrist Band. At level 64, we have Tiger in the Sack. This one, simple, a circle of tiger leather. Now, you are going to need a miner for the tanning uh, agent. And tiger skins are a pain to get, but there is two ways you can get these. You can get the ones in the Yansia, or you can get the ones at the Azim Step. The saber tooth tigers will also drop the tiger skins. But level 64 is probably the one that you just love quests to do. At level 66, you have security breaches. Which you're going to be making a pair of merit leather breeches of maiming. Let's see if the 
repair legs. Alright, so as you can see here, this is where it gets really complex. So you have the married leather, the steep surge, the tiger leather, the worsted yarn, and the grade one racist suite of strength. I will be getting to the reason why you pretty much are not going to want to do these once I get with the last one at level 68. And that is going to be if the shoe fits, which will be making a pair of gazelle boots of casting. Gazelle skin boots of casting. So here you're gonna need gazelle leather, twin thread, which is easy to make. All you need is ever vessel water and the twin thread cocoons, which is easily gotten from a level 70 botanist. Damahagani ingots or rubber, which is so simple. And then the green one race suite of intelligence, which is actually easy to make. The only problem is the gazelle leather because you're going to be needing an alchemist and a botanist to make the persimmon tanning solution. And the gazelle leathers can be a little bit hard to obtain because the gazelles are a little bit a pain in the ass to farm when people are doing it also. But the gazelle boots are actually not that hard to make. The ingredients are really easy to get because most of them is just out there mining and botanying to get the materials. So, for those for people who actually don't mind putting in the work, those are the repeatable lev quests that you guys are going to be doing. Now, if you value time over hard work, you're going to pretty much ignore all that. And you're pretty much are just going to do tiger in the sack. Uh, hide to go seek at level 60. And off the cuff at level 62. If you don't want to do off the cuff, spam hide to go seek until you get to level 64. And then spam tiger in the sack until you are level 70. Because leather worker is a pain in the ass, as you can see, because the materials that needed are so hard to get, and it takes a lot of grinding to do so. So, for leather worker, I would highly recommend doing tiger in the sack and hide to go seek and off the cuff to level 70 because it is a pain in the ass. And I didn't do it that way, I went the hard route and did all the other repeatable ones. Now, normally I would also suggest doing uh, scripts and collectibles for the for your crafting classes, but in terms of leather worker, there is not much easy recipes that they're looking for. If you're lucky to get like earrings or like gloves or anything like that, then I would say yeah, do them while you have them up. But outside of that, a lot of these are boots, pants, body pieces, a lot of materials, and it's just not worth it. Especially when you were trying to do it multiple times. So the first time, I would say do not do collectibles as a leather worker. Unless you don't mind the hard work. But that is... Just my advice, it's up to you if you guys want to do it this way. You're going to do the long way, doing all the hard work, going the easy route, doing all the leathers, or you actually can start throwing in collectibles, but I would highly recommend using all my leather quests on Leather Worker, because it is a pain in the ass to do. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like. Any comments, questions, concerns you have, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer them and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new for more Final Fantasy 14 Stormblood content. So until next time, may you forever walk in the light of Lord Bahamut. Take care guys and good luck. <laughs>